this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can cut and press heat transfer vinyl, iron on vinyl or HTV and make your own custom t-shirt using Cricut Design Space. There are two types of vinyls. One is adhesive vinyl and this kind of vinyl can be cut and applied straight away to items such as keychains, mugs or tumblers. The back is sticky, kind of like a sticker. And then there is heat transfer vinyl, which the adhesive is activated with heat. This is the type of vinyl we are going to use today. So I'm in design space and I go to templates. This is optional, but I feel that it really helps. Type in t-shirt and then click classic t-shirt. Now under type, I'm going to select toddler as I'm making a shirt for a toddler. I've already measured my t-shirt and choose medium as the dimensions are the closest, but you can choose custom and add your own t-shirt measurements if this is easier for you. Now we are ready to design. I go to images and search for dinosaur. I also change the layers to single layer and operation to cut only. The dinosaur I have chosen is a Triceratops and I add it to my canvas. Now just resize to fit. I want to add some text so I go to the text tool and type my text. The font I'm using is called Paddington Regular. This is free with Cricut Access. I add a curve using the curve tool and then resize it to flow down the tail. Now I select both elements and click on Weld, which will join both of these layers together and cut out as one. I go ahead and click on Make It, and then I select On Mat as I am using vinyl I have cut out already. Now whenever you are using heat transfer vinyl, you need to mirror your image, otherwise the image will be ironed on back to front. Do this by clicking the mirror option. Finally, choose your vinyl type. I am using Cricut Iron-On Vinyl in white, so I choose the premium vinyl option and then go ahead and make it. Transfer Vinyl has a shiny side and a matte side, so you need to place the shiny side down onto the matte and the Cricut will cut the matte side. Go through and weed all the areas you don't want showing on your t-shirt. Heat transfer vinyl is easy to weed and not sticky at all until heat is applied. I like to use the Cricut Heat Guide as a reference and preheat the Cricut Easy Press to 315 degrees Fahrenheit or 155 degrees Celsius. I remove any lint with a lint roller and then preheat the t-shirt for 5 seconds. This transfer guide comes in a pack that I got from Amazon and I'll leave a link to it and all the materials I used today in the description. Center your design and then press with light pressure for 30 seconds. I like to use parchment paper on top as a protective layer for the t-shirt. I then turn the shirt over and press for 15 seconds. Peel off the liner when the transfer is cool to touch and you will have a fun t-shirt all ready for an adventurous toddler. I hope this video has helped you make your own custom t-shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my channel for tutorials just like this one and I will see you again in the next video.